All right. Hey, hey, Mardi Gras back in full force after the pandemic restricted a lot of the recent festivities in the last few years. But bigger celebrations, of course, mean more security concerns. So joining us from New Orleans is Fox's Rebecca Castor. Uh, Rebecca, good morning here. Uh, start by telling us a little bit about what you're seeing this morning as Mardi Gras kicks off. Good morning, Liz. Well, I am right here along the parade route, and we have about an, a less than an hour to go until floats will come this way, but the crowd has been out here since this morning. Many people setting up first thing to claim their spot, and we're going to be ready for a full day of parades to come down this road here. That's exciting. I mean, it's been kind of a wild two years. A lot of things were canceled, so it's cool to see it back in full effect. But talk a little bit about some of the security. Obviously, some changes have had to be made, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so a big thing that we've been talking about here in New Orleans is a critical uh, police officer shortage. Like many cities, the New Orleans Police Department has lost a lot of officers over the years, and they're having problems getting new officers to join the force. So there was some concern that Mardi Gras wasn't going to be able to happen this year because they just didn't have the officers to patrol it. But city leaders, you know, they really didn't want to see that happen. I mean, this is a huge economic uh, impact to the city, especially the businesses along the parade route. It brings in, you know, really close to a million tourists to this city every year. So that's a lot of money coming into the city. So they wanted it to be back at full force. They sent out a call for help across Louisiana, uh, sheriff's departments uh, in rural Louisiana and the bayou all across the state are here in New Orleans, uh, making sure that the festivities can happen safely today. Yeah, and I got to ask about that because, you know, we had this shooting Sunday, left one person dead, four other people hurt in New Orleans along a Mardi Gras parade route. So what are you hearing from people there? How are they feeling about their safety and security? Of course, you know, Sunday night shooting, definitely a sad stain on the celebrations throughout the week. And uh, the mayor of New Orleans actually put out an interesting statement just saying that, of course, when there are large gatherings like this, of course, you're going to have people that want to come and, and ruin all the fun for everybody. But the officers on this parade route, they responded to that shooting within seconds, um, chasing down uh, who they believe uh, shot the gun into the crowd. And throughout this whole week, two weeks, really, of Mardi Gras, Officers have confiscated over 100 guns from people along the parade route. You're not allowed to have them here legally uh, watching the parade route. So the resources are here. Of course, it's a sad stain for people. Um, but, you know, you try to go to the areas that are, are not the problem areas, more of the family-friendly areas, and you try to go somewhere where there's a lot of officers nearby. Yeah, and hopefully we're going to hope for a nice, happy, safe celebration for everyone as we are looking at Mardi Gras coming back after a couple of slower years because of the pandemic. Fox's Rebecca Castle live in New Orleans for us. We appreciate you. Thank you.